All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about our four-tier quail cage from Hatching Time. We're going to go ahead and show you the unboxing and some of the assembly. And we even had broken parts. We're going to tell you about how they handled that and how their customer service was. So let's get started. Okay, guys, we got our quail crate. We got it in from Hatching Time. I believe it came in Thursday. Today's Sunday. We were waiting to uh, unbox it, so we had uh, some time, had some other things going on around the farm. But we're going to go ahead and dive in here and get this thing assembled. There's a ton of stuff in the kit here. We literally have parts flying pretty much everywhere here with all the trash from it here. We can clean that up in a minute, I guess. But here's our broken piece we were talking about. That's supposed to be, if I can get it to sit right here. It's supposed to go in just like that. Got the rest of the bottoms here. Got the backs, tops, and the sides here. Yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and we'll start getting things together. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to build our uh, first little housing unit like this here. So the first things we're going to need here is your roof. You're going to need the front door. One of your bottoms here. And the back wall, wherever I put them. Oh, they're under here. There is a lot of parts to this. All right, let me get this flipped over, make sure I got aligned. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and line up. You have these two arrows here. They're gonna line up with these two arrows. Then on your back, you have two arrows on the outside. And on the back wall, you have a single arrow here. That's gonna be what lines up to it. Go ahead and then you line those up. Get them just right. These are pretty tight. They just snap in there then. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and take these two arrows here with the two arrows on the front. There are these two little pegs down here that this front slips on. That's where they go. So I'll go ahead and spin this around and get these on here. This part seems to be about the easiest to put on. This is the second easiest, and up on the front seems to be the hardest part. So anyway, we got two of those there, two done. A lot to go. Next step, we need to take these here and connect them with their end pieces. Let's go ahead and slide this up. Make sure your pegs are aligned here. That's pretty good. Then we're gonna go ahead and just kind of snug them on there before we get the rubber mallet. Okay, we'll flip it, get the next one aligned here. Go ahead and get the next one. Get it stacked right on top here. Okay, now that's the other. Next thing we're gonna do is the metal poles we have. 
Okay, guys, first thing we're gonna need is the four poles here that we've got. Then you're gonna need your little bag. You got all these little screws and little plastic pieces that go inside the pipe. And we got little plastic legs. Now, as you can see, there is two different holes for the top and bottom, which correlates with where you're gonna put this. Hopefully you guys can see this. You got the top hole here, then you'll go ahead and you'll use this piece here, unless you're going on the front, since it's sloped, you use the bottom hole. Use this very top hole here. Put the little plastic insert in there. Put it down in there. Okay. piece here okay due to the back of the cage being shorter than the front of the cage due to the built-in rollout we're gonna go ahead and select the bottom hole since it is taller you can see if we were to put it up here it would line up with the very bottom hole so we're gonna go ahead and put our little plastic piece in there put that down in there Okay, that's in. So now we'll go ahead and fish it in through the front of this here. Okay, flip it over here. Go ahead and grab two more of your legs. Make sure you got the top part here, bottom parts there. Grab our plastic little sleeves here. Go ahead and then we'll put all the screws in here and get tightened up. Okay, we got all those in there. Next step is we're gonna go ahead and put the base together so we can start stacking this on it. All right guys, so here's the base. As you can see, we have the little holes in the bottom to put the caster. So let's see, we got four of our casters here. now. Two of them do have the locking wheels. Uh, wherever you want to put them is up to you. I am going to go ahead and put them on the front side of the cage. That way when I roll it back in somewhere, I can lock it from the front and I don't have to try and lock it from the side. Alrighty. And we'll go ahead, take our first set of the cages here. Lined up in these little holes. Okay. 
All right. All right, now to insert the water system, they have this little piece in the back here. You kind of see it's cut out actually for these little red nipples to slide through. Let's go ahead and insert it up into here. Give it a little wiggle and push. Get the first part in, line up the second hole. Here is what we're gonna to have to go ahead and put in there. I'm gonna go ahead and warm up a little bit of water, stick this hose down in it, and it'll make it a lot easier to slide onto that. So now that we have the bucket of warm water, we'll go ahead and stick this tube in there. Let it sit there for a little bit, just to get a little warmer, a little more malleable. It'll make it a lot easier to slide it over the barbs that are actually on this fitting. I don't know if you can see. I mean, it is a lot more malleable than this is up here. So go ahead and take it on, or stick it on here. And it'll slide down nice and easy like that. So that's how the water system actually gets hooked up on it. Next, we'll go ahead and we'll get the little drip cups actually inside the cage here. Now with these drip cups, they are a real snug fit. You can see they actually just snap over that back in there and hangs just like that. So we're gonna do the same thing we did with the hose with these. We're gonna go ahead and put them in the hot water here for a little bit, make them a little more malleable. All right, even after putting them in the warm water, they are still pretty difficult to put on. So let's see if we can get it on here, one-handed anyway. All right, just like that, I had to rock it back and forth just a little bit to work it over that edge there. But that's how those cups on go on, so we'll go ahead and get the rest of them on here. All right, next we have our feeding troughs here. So we're gonna go ahead and take your little green strip you got. You want the arrows that are actually on the ends to face in towards the cage. Go ahead and stick those on. Then there's four little pegs actually on the front of the cage. They line up actually with the little grooves inside the green strip. Put those on, and then the very last thing, when you put the feet in, is you put your little grate in there. In order to trim the hose here, we need to go ahead and see the length we need, which is down to this piece, so we'll go ahead and cut it. Okay. Now this part is a little hard for us to dip in the hot water that we like to do, so we're just gonna go ahead and push it on here manually. It'd be a little more difficult, but still doable. Okay. Getting that on a little snugger. Go ahead and do it for now. I'm going to take the nip out of the tank there so I can get a little more leverage on it. Okay. I'll give you a good time to actually see how this goes together. All right, the final two steps we have is we put it in our manure trays. They slide just underneath each one and on top of the other one that's underneath of it. Then the very last step we have is putting the lid on the water. All right, guys, as you saw earlier, we had our bottom rollout trays. We had two of them actually broke when they came in the box. So I went ahead, I took some pictures. I sent them to Hatching Time over their email, got on their website. I sent them in at about 8.50 on Sunday evening. And then 917, I believe it was, they actually emailed me right back. They apologized for it. They said, we'll get you two new ones in the mail. Two days later, I received them. That is by far probably the best customer service I have ever received anywhere.